right yes thank you very much so we are in, on the second of november 2023 what, three yes good we are bringing you yet another fantastic video with a lot of brilliant updates and analysis and views and opinions by me yes i'm bringing everything to you on this particular channel in this particular video ghana versus madagascar is coming on and the heat has started as madagascar has released their full squad for the game versus ghana black stars on the 17th of november 2023 at the babayara sports stadium in kumasi here fantastic game is going to be a game chris Hutin has no choice a game the black stars of ghana has no choice than to win that game because it is the qualifiers for the 2026 fifa world cup and ghana black stars has to start winning and the first game cannot be any better than the game versus madagascar and we have to beat them and beat them well the last time we met them at home it was 3-0 at the cape coast stadium babayara they say it's a fortress so if cape coast gave you three babayara should give you five thank you very much we will also talk about some other issues black stars defender back training and then um, looks to be um yes fit and playing games you are going to look at that that's a very very good news for the black stars defender also we will talk about new black stars defender that coach chris Hutin should be looking at and i don't understand why this defender has not had a taste of the black stars up till now and we are going to discuss this particular player in this video and as well we'll talk about thomas party and some other issues in this video do want to subscribe to the channel if this is your first time if you've not subscribed subscribe to the channel like this video hit the notification bell so that anytime i drop a video you'll be the first person to have the video leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any thank you very much subscribe to the channel now where do i even start from in fact let me start from uh, this player is a new Ghanaian player in fact he's not a new he's maybe a new blast ass player but not a new Ghanaian player his name is abdo Momen. And he plays for Rayo Vallecano in the Spanish La Liga. Rayo Vallecano this season is doing very, very well in the Spanish La Liga. At least they are a mid-table club. And over the weekend, this player I'm speaking to you about, he actually scored a goal for Rayo Vallecano last weekend. He scored a goal for them. Now, he has been playing for them day in, day out. Unless he's not fit or he's in his he's what he's gotten a card, he's on suspension. If he's fit, yeah. He's the one who starts for Rayo Vallecano in the Spanish La Liga. Now, look, just, just, just ask yourself that. We have Joseph Edu, who is a competent player in the Celta um, Vigo setup in the Spanish La Liga, and he's always caught up. We also have another Ghanaian player, Abdo Momen, in the same league as Joseph Edu, playing day in, day out, but yet we don't call him. Why? 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 <laughs> why now the problem of the black stars has got to do with the defense and from the world cup up till now it looks like we just cannot have a solid defense so what it means is that we have to always be calling competent players quality defenders who will help us defend very well and that is the most important thing and this is one player i just don't understand why he's not being given the chance and i hope that um, in those games versus madagascar and comoros in the month of november world cup qualifiers at least he will be given a chance especially when joseph Edu is injured and cannot be part of this squad so we will need another or a new black stars um defender to be part of the setup and i have i don't know i don't know the, the adjectives and the words i have to use look moment should be should be non-negotiable because his records are clear now he is a graduate of the right to dream academy and played for Nordjylland FC and has played for several clubs in yes he's, yes he played, played for Nordjylland 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 do not only um, produce um, attackers who could use and come out no they also produce defenders and this player was part of them he's part of the Nordjylland setup the players no now look Ed, um, Ernest, Ernest Nyama, Nordjylland setup, fantastic player for the Blasters. Mohamed Kudus, Nordjylland setup, fantastic player for the Blasters. Kamal Din Sulemana from the Nordjylland team, also a great, uh, not so much a fantastic, but then he, at least he's a good player for the Black Stars. So if we have that, that thing, that history there, why don't we have this player, Abdo Momen, from the Nordjylland setup, also coming to help the Blasters in terms of defending? 
I look forward to see him and I hope coach Chris Hilton will not um, disappoint at all. Now, the Madagascan coach has released their, their squad for the game versus Ma Ghana Black Stars. At the Babayara Sports Stadium, 17th of November, 4 p.m. Crane. Now, Ghana will start the, the campaign to qualify for the 2026 World Cup. Now, we have to beat them. Now, and uh, I've already told you, it is not negotiable. Um, coach Chris Uting has to play an impressive game. The last time we met them at Cape Coast, we beat them with an impressive game. That one was Africa Cup of Nations qualifier. We, we beat them with an impressive game. So, when they are coming to Ghana, Babayara Sports Stadium, World Cup qualifiers the 2026 world cup it is not enna enna biana 90 minutes na zero zero we don't want that we don't want that coach chris Hutton. No, no 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 don't give us anything I just beat them so their squad is in i'm sure you don't know any player in so i will not worry myself but then our squad will also be coming in maybe maybe next week there our squad will be coming in and then we will analyze the blaster squad the, um, and how good we can um, perform to beat the madagascan team now talking about the world cup qualifiers we will be playing in the month of november um 17th of november and 21st of november we will be playing versus comoros now black stars fantastic defender mohammed salusu who um decided to uh, feature for the black stars before the world cup and then um played the world cup 2022 in Qatar. since the world cup he has never featured for the black stars because of injuries and it is a very difficult one in fact since he moved from southampton to as monaco in the french league um uh, he has not been able to feature for AAS Monaco. And that is a very, very sad story. He moved in um, during the summer of 2023. And he has not played any game for them. But then the good news is that um, Mohamed Salisu has joined the um, group training. And is training with the Monaco group currently as I speak to you. And maybe over the weekend, he will be fit to play for AS Monaco. But... Um, I, Yes, during the time our uh, Black Stars will be playing the World Cup qualifiers, he will be fit. But will he come to play for the Black Stars or not? We will wait and see how things go over there. But the very good news is that at least we have Mohamed Salisu back and training for the senior national um for his club side, AS Monaco. He's training with the group and uh, it is a very, very good news for the player for AS Monaco as well as for the senior national team, the Ghana Black Stars. Now, Thomas Partey is another fantastic Black Stars player who plays for Arsenal Football Club and has been injured in that... Um, Thomas, this season, yeah, he's been, he's getting injured too much. I don't really understand why. But the news is that he will not be able to take part in the Black Stars um, World Cup qualifiers. We will be playing versus Madagascar and Comoros in the month of um in the month of November. So yes, um, Thomas party. Very very sad news that Thomas will not be part of us. So um, again, if Thomas is coming, don't go and call Edmond Ado. Coach Chris Hutton here. Yeah, I will continue to talk with to him or to him listen thomas party will not come we understand it doesn't mean that oh thomas will not come so i'm going to call edmond ado edmond ado will not come and do anything <laughs> look call competent players right now ashimeru is fit call ashimeru okay Salah summit is fit call Salah summit baba idrisu Ameria. this time Ameria, they are not doing well in the la liga but at least baba idrisu competence okay the experience is there everything call you see Call players who deserve it because oh, walk out 2026 there. If you come and joke, yeah. Kumasi fans they will not they will not let it slide. Though. Masa, the way Kumasi fans came in their numbers to support the Black Stars when they were playing the playoff versus Nigeria, eh? It means that the World Cup 2026 there, yeah, they are going to come in their numbers every time to support the Black Stars. So if you slack with some some uh, you squad the bees uh, i'm sure the Ghanaians will not forgive you so coach chris Hutton, yes thomas Partey is injured he cannot come he'll be out for some few weeks we understand but it doesn't mean go and call your favorite son edmond ado who comes and plays nothing nothing when he goes to his club his club side too he doesn't get any chance to play his club side is not a uh, real madrid or barcelona or uh, manchester city that is it that oh there is competition there his club side is red star belgrade in serbia barcelona he doesn't get the opportunity to play you are playing in serbia you don't get opportunity so please coach chris Hutton, thank you very much <laughs>
<laughs> but stay with that. I've said my views and opinions and everything. Let me know yours in the comment section of this video. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and select or leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have it. It's always a pleasure to have you join us. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next time. Bye bye.